And what you do is you stand on your feet all over the building. Good God. And you act like you are the saints. Hey. Praise the Lord. I don't know if this cowboy territory. All of the saints are in the house tonight. The saints are in the house. And we got a super bowl of on us. Y'all better not play with us today. Because it's because of these acts 
um, that we are who we are right now. And the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, is stronger and greater than we've ever been before because of who he is. Now, when other people come and talk about the condition of the church, I often kind of contradict them about, you know, the church, amen, is in trouble. I say, no, the Bible says upon this rock, I build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I told my church that, I told them that the church is not in trouble. We, the people of God, are in trouble. Uh, touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you might be in trouble. But God's bride is okay. He's all right. She's all right. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it is that we come in corporate agreement with the movement of God. And it is that we have to be reminded of what God is really calling us to. Um, God wants us to know that we are more, amen, than actors on the stage. But that we have a powerful inheritance of deeply rooted in that of the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It begins to start off when you read about Matthew chapter 21. And I'll just hold you present. I'm going to get to the text in just a moment. Uh, but when Matthew begins to talk about in 21, about Jesus getting ready to enter into Jerusalem. And the prophetic occurrence when he says, go and get me an ass and a coat. And he begins to say, listen, I'm getting ready to ride in on this ass. And as I get ready to ride in on this ass, he understood already that the people would not recognize him simply because they would not recognize his entrance. There's a lot of us right now that are missing God because God doesn't come in forms and shape. So we have pre-anticipated him to move in. I wish I had a witness here. You know how it is. We got our favorite singers. We got our favorite preachers. We got our, our favorite conferences. Our favorite moves of God. And we take a miss what God is trying to do in us and through us because we're trying to make God come like we want him to come. Like. You know how it is. You hugging everybody, but you don't like nobody that you love. <laughs> and so 
instead of you getting yourself together and really fixing your spirit, you would much rather hide what you really gonna do. Burn! Yeah. 
So from chapter 21 to verse 1 to 11, we read about his glorious entry. And when we get to chapter verse 12 of chapter 1 of 21 of Matthew, I'm in Matthew. Mm -hmm. Preach this at my church last night. I've been wrestling because I said, I want something new. Give me, God, give me something fresh. I'm over here with the cathedral. I need a truth. Give me a fresh one. Give me some real deep in the Slay me in the spirit. You know. Now the Lord let me go past this. Praise the worship leader came over and said, What you preaching about? I said, I don't know. Let y'all know, day four came and spent the day with me. I'm waiting on occasion now, praise the Lord. I'm waiting on my son, so I'm spending time with him, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we find verse 12. First, I say verse 12. I'm going to verse 12 real quickly. And, 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 and I, I want to expound on this just a little bit because, amen, God wants to say something to us. The Bible says in verse 12, Matthew chapter 21, verse 12, says, And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold all doves. Uh, and in another version of in Luke's gospel, the Bible said he, 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 he twined cords together and beat them out the church. And have you ever said by somebody that you feel like you need to beat out of church? Yeah. 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 You are afraid of, you know, Washtenaw Parish taking you to jail. Folk uh -huh. right here in the church that you would not have beaten you know, right up out the temple. You ain't got to say amen. The person sitting next to you is all the same. Watch the word. I'm bringing revelation to this moment. The Bible says that in verse 13, Jesus said unto them, It is what? Written. Um, that my house shall be called the house of the Lord God. But he hath made it into a den of Watch out. Now, verse 12. Jesus beats them out of the church. Mm, mm, mm. Verse 13, he tells us the purpose of the temple. Come on now. Mm. Verse 14, we see the revelation enacted. Because in verse 14 of Matthew chapter 21, the Bible says, And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple. Lord God. And he healed him. Yes. Lord God. yes. Now, I want you to pause right there. Let's pull our escalades over with our black interior fully loaded. Let's, ah. <laughs> let's pull that over for a moment and let's examine the text. Uh, now, there are many places uh, in, in, in our church um, that believe that this simply tells us that we are not to sell or to, 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 to exchange in the church. That some denomination will even allow the taking up of money in the sanctuary because they look at this scripture and they run with it ignorantly. Mm -hmm. So the says, study to show yourself a workman that need not be ashamed. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus was not necessarily concerned about their activity. But he was more concerned about the spirit that they have brought into the church. They were more concerned with gaining and building themselves than they were concerned with the fulfillment and the purpose of the ministry. There are many times that we are doing everything but the right thing in the church. Uh, we bring every attitude but the right, right attitude right. in the church. We bring every problem but the right problem. And I know some of you say, I explain all my problems, but yeah. some of your problems don't need to come to the church. You, you can go yeah. back right in the house, so I'm like my kind of teacher. You, you can fix it yourself. 
you know, we like everything but the right thing to do the church. Wow. Uh, this forced the church to be ineffective while it was yet expanding. Uh, watch this word now. Because they were so concerned with gaining and buying and establishing their own wealth in the earth realm, they had forgot about the principle that if I seek ye first the kingdom uh, and his righteousness, and, uh, that you would give me all of these other things, you know, daily, you, you got to realize that the person sitting next to you, their praise is predicated based on where they live, what they drive, how their husband and wife treat them. Y'all don't want to talk to me here. Uh, come on, they come to the church and they give God a praise because of the miracle they want to happen on their job. Never wanting God to move through them. They never wanting God to move through their hands and move through their eyes. No, no, no. They don't want God to expand them naturally. Y'all don't like me up in this room here today. We just want to look good, live good. You know, we like living this kind of life, not the life of the Bible, but we like living, you know, rich and high and mighty. So that when people look at us, we say, I'm blessed because I love the Lord.
They got to go lay on their face to the go low. And, and, and they begin to call out that person's name in prayer. And ask God to do a change. Come on here. And see, when you begin to pray, there's two things that's going to happen. See, some of us, watch this, watch this. Some of us are unprepared for the results of prayer. Yes, yes. Oh, now, yes. Yeah. See, the reason why you still like to raise hell, you know, you still cussing, and you still fussing, you know, you still acting a fool, is because you know if you pray, there's two things that's going to happen. Either God's going to fix it, or he's going to move it. And you already made up in your mind you don't want God to move him. So you just don't involve God at all. Y'all don't like my kind of teaching here. Y'all don't like my kind of teaching here. Come up here. You the same one for prayer. I'm tired of this job. I, I want God to give me better. I keep sowing seed. I keep giving tithes and offering. And don't let that change for me. Shut up. You don't know how to pray. I wish I had a witness here. There ain't no way you sowing seeds. Come up here. And if you see the Lord, he don't give you no answer.
our ministries that always put, are always lead the way. They always, you know, make the way for the move of God. Number one is the intercession group, and the number two one is the Levites. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. See, the Levites got to be consecrated. Y'all got to see y'all. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you ain't going to be singing and cussing. No, 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 no. Come on, you're not going to be singing and shacked up. No, 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 no. Come on, you're not going to be singing and shacked up in your mind. Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't even paying tithes. 
and think we don't know a child like that kind of teacher. Come on, you, you ain't even paying tithes, but you know I love you. Oh, I, I, God don't do it for us. He ain't gonna do it for you. Sit down somewhere. God ain't doing nothing. You holding us up, y'all. Touch your legs and think about you the hold up? Are you really the hold up? Closely, hear me good. You have to closely watch the people you pour the most into. That's right, Bishop. That. That's right. That's right. Because the ones you pour the most into will always turn out to be the Judas's behind the scenes. That's right, Bishop. That's right, Bishop. Because they never had to work for nothing. Y'all don't like that kind of teaching. They never had to be processed. They never had to be cleansed because love. That's right, Bishop. That's right. Oh, and I got some people in here that you said I've been rebuked up and down the carpet. I've I, I been chastised, I've been criticized, I've been torn down, I've been built up. And see, you are the one that God said, I'm getting ready to use. I'm about, I'm about to pull you out the background. I'm about to pull you out of the spirit team. I'm about to pull you to the front because you've allowed the fire of God to purify you. You've allowed the power of God to come in and cleanse you. Folk that are birthed through relation can't take chest You chest pass them, they get offended, and they miss a couple Sundays. That's right, bitch. Y'all yeah. keep standing up, your neighbor won't think they talk about them. So sit down. Sit down. Folk that are birthed by relation can't appreciate nothing that no one does but what they have done. Can't find value in no one else other than themselves. Yes, indeed. So I said, why? why? They never had to work for the country. Yes, indeed. Good word, good word. Somebody said, God, God. God. shake up the house. Shake up the house. I said, I'm going to I'm going to pray in just a moment. I'm pray. Hmm. Bible says, so I said, Bible says. Bible says. When Jesus goes in and do that, the Bible says that Sadducees and Pharisees, you know, those that are in, in power and position, those that are soon to be removed. Matter of fact, look at your face, neighbor. Is your candlestick still lit? Your candlestick still lit. Part of some of us is that we don't realize that God's about to put our light out. Oh my Lord. Come on, Bishop. He's about to stop you from shining so bright. And every demonic spirit that's been operating you is about to come to the forefront. Because you're not going to go out of hand when this is level of rejection. Come on, Bishop. See, you can't be anointed until you've been rejected. You can be anointed until folk have picked on you. That's right, Bishop. And criticized you, jumped on you, talked about you. And like Jesus, you know how not to say a mumbling word. I wish I had a witness here. That's right. You, 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 don't, you don't know. You, you don't know what God's trying to do in your life yet until you've been crushed. I wish I had some black sheep, some families in here that understand what it means to be on the outside. Everybody on the inside. And I've been on the outside. Come on. I'm talking about the child that was never good enough, the person that never had it all together, the person who never met the standard. I wish I had somebody here. But you kept on pressing, and you kept on working, and you kept on praying, and you kept on seeking, and you kept on fighting, and you kept on pushing. Come on, come on. 